So the first trick we have is pretty simple. So you ult the front line to proc your ult. Your ult comes one second after. So you ult, wait a second, and then jump to the back line. So Diana can Q flash. So you combine this with the Q flash and you get a ton of burst. How tilted would you be if you died to this? The second trick was actually a bug that was removed. I hope this stays. Ride might remove this before he even comes out alive. But this is a really cool trick. So if you Q someone and you dash them before your moonlight hits the second person, it refreshes on the, the first guy and then it hits the other guy which gives you another dash and another reset so you get three dashes you can combine this with the first trick just alt q flash e w e e this ring on the floor tells you what side of your opponent you'll dash to so if they're outside of the ring you'll be in front of them if they're in the ring, they'll dash behind them. Old Diana would always dash behind them. So I guess this is a nerf most of the time, but if you're poking them on the tower, then it's a buff. Diana can use her other abilities during her dash. Q and Alt have cast times, so you can only do one of those. But you can WQ or W Alt. You can't get the Q reset this way. If you EWR, you still have your E to make sure you can hit your ult. One more quick thing, Diana's Q is pretty nuts. The splash on the floor is large and the curve is hard to dodge. So you can throw it and the splash will probably hit them. Like look at this hitbox, it's kind of dumb. Or if they're trying to dodge it, you could just throw it past them and it's just confusing. Throwing max range Q and splashing it on them is going to be a lot of poke. Especially against mages, this is the only way to hit them if you aren't going to all in. Last quick tip, you can all flash and you can Q flash. The reason you Q flash is because it's much quicker. Look how slow this is. Thanks for watching.